Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Saurabh Agarwal from Informatica Cloud Product Management Team and today I will give you a sneak peek on a um, new enhancement coming into R32 release uh, which is our summer 2019 release uh, and that feature is uh, supporting the streaming Salesforce API. So till date you knew that with Cloud App Integration you had a Salesforce connector available which helped you uh, synchronize your Salesforce metadata with the Cloud App Integration processes and guides and that you can uh, either read information directly using Salesforce connection or you could uh, fire an outbound message through uh, Salesforce using the Salesforce account. Uh, with R32 release, we are providing support for a Salesforce streaming API uh, and we are specifically supporting two specific events from Salesforce, uh, Salesforce platform events and Salesforce push topic. So let's look at how this is being done. So we have used the same Salesforce connection and we have overloaded that to include listeners in there. So let me show you the Salesforce connection. So this is our very own old Salesforce connection with a couple of differences. You would notice that there's an event sources tab and this comes in when you choose the, uh, the runtime environment for this connection to be an agent because we support uh, the Salesforce streaming APIs, uh, platform events and push topic only on the agent for now. Uh, so that's one difference. You see event sources. We'll talk about that in a second. You'll also see that we have two new entries here, event API settings. Uh, for these two APIs, you need to have a consumer queue and consumer secret. And these two can be fetched to the Salesforce account. Let's look at the event sources. Uh, so I have created here two event sources. The first source event is uh, for the platform event. Pretty simple and straightforward. You have to define uh, the event in the Salesforce. And then you have to provide the path to the event. The second event that I have created is a source push topic event. This is a push topic event where again you would uh, use uh, the nomenclature prefix by slash topic and you would provide the topic name that you've created in the Salesforce. So pretty simple and straightforward. Now let's look at what we're doing in this demo. Uh, so we will not do anything fancy in this demo. Let me first show you the platform events. So this is a process where the binding is of type event and the event is being chosen from the Salesforce platform event. By default, it will give you an event field as an input field. And we'll see how uh, when you create a new Salesforce event, it will trigger this process. So let's do that. So I'm going to log into Workbench. As you would notice, I'm already logged into the Workbench and you can reach the REST Explorer through utilities. You need to provide the URL of this format. So this is your platform event name in the Salesforce. And uh, I'm creating a post request. Now before I do that, let me show you how this platform event looks like. So this is my Salesforce environment. In the Salesforce environment, I've defined a platform event. And you would notice there are three custom fields defined, field one and field two, uh, with the API names as test ID underscore C and test name underscore C of type number and text. So this is my schema of the platform event. And that's what I have been using here. So I've passed some values here. I passed 11 for the test ID and test two for the test name. So let's execute this and let's go back and look at what happened in our console. So the console was empty. We are looking at processes on this agent. And let me refresh that. You would notice that there's a new process being triggered, the same process that we're looking at right now. Let's look at the execution. So let's click on input fields. Uh, as you would notice, you get uh, the event captured in the start step here with the right details. So that's about the platform events. And let me show you how we can do for the same thing for push topic. So let me go back to the workbench. I've already created a streaming push topic. Uh, the push topic is the AI push topic. If you look at the details, this is a push topic based on the account. Uh, it fetches the ID and the name from the account and that's why it propagates. So now I will create a new account in Salesforce and pass these relevant fields. Let's give the account number as 20 and give the account name as test account 1 and confirm the insert. So it's successfully created. Let's go back and look at the runtime environment. So here, if I refresh it, I do see a new process being triggered. Uh, let's look at the execution of this process. Let's look at the input fields. And as you would notice, the account ID and the account name has been passed. 
So that completes my demonstration on how Cloud App Integration leverages uh, the streaming Salesforce API uh, for Salesforce Platform events and Salesforce push topic. Uh, what I showed you was a very basic process which didn't do anything, but based upon your requirements, you may have a process which could be doing n number of things. Uh, uh, that's that's the subject of our next demo. Till then, thank you very much.